Kenworths, Peterbilts, Volvos, Freightliners, what in the world is happening to our used truck prices in the month of December? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the latest results of the Ritchie Brothers auctions. We're gonna do a recap of all 2020 models that were sold in the month of December. And we're also going to predict what's going to happen over the next three months. And if you're not a buyer, don't worry about it because this video is gonna also show you which truck retains its value the most. And I'm sure you wanna know what's going to happen in our industry over the next three months. So without further ado, let's recap those December auction results. All right, so we're gonna start off with all the Kenworths. So these are all the Kenworths that were sold in December of 2023. So there were 19 sold in the month of December, and now let's look at the results. So we have a 2020 Kenworth with 372,000 miles sold for 32,500. Then we have another one with 591,000 miles that sold for 27,500. And then again, a 2020 with 323,000 miles that sold for 9,250. That seems really low. But then you have another one here with 297. I mean, 297,000 miles is literally almost like a brand new truck. Okay, which sold for $50,000. These brand new probably cost you about 205 to 215 right now. Another 2020 sold for 27,000 in Atlanta, 511,000 miles. We're not gonna get into the day caps too much. I just wanna see if there's any more highway units. We have another 2020 with 526,000 miles sold for $33,000. And then you have another one here that sold for $33,000. And our last one here with 451,000 miles sold for $27,000. I want you to know that six to eight months ago, the prices for these units, okay, these, Ken, these, uh, these Kenworths for five, with 500 to 600,000 uh, miles, they were selling probably for around close to 55 to $65,000. So literally uh, you can get them right now for half the price. Um, let's see if the exact same thing happened with the Peterbilts, okay? Guys, can you get commercial financing under 8% and is it realistic? Well, here's a truck that I helped this owner operator secure his financing at 7.89%. How did I do it? Well, I really like it when people compete. Just like we carriers compete for freight, I like these financing companies to compete for your business. Anyone out there looking for financing, whether it's for a truck, trailer, flatbed reefer, there's only one rule in commercial financing. You never go with the the recommended finance company of the dealership. Let this link that would literally take you 20 seconds to fill out get distributed amongst multiple lenders and help you to secure the most competitive financing rates out there. And don't forget to thank me when that purchase is complete. So we're gonna right now look only at the 2020 Peterbilts with um, here, here's the results. We have one with 444,000 miles sold for 29,000. Another one that sold for 27,000. Uh, one 389 that sold for 80,000, another 389 that sold for 75,000. You can tell that these 389s probably hold their value the most. Um, here's a 579 that sold for 47,500. Another 2020 with 450,000 miles sold for 47,500. Another one with 414,000 miles that sold for $35,000. Then we'll get into this white one, a 2020 Peterbilt 579 that sold for $40,000. This is 358,000 miles. Another 2020 with 382,000 miles. This one sold for $30,000. And then we have one more here, a 2020 Peterbilt with 550,000 miles. Uh, that sold for $26,000. So I can tell that the, the Kenworths retained value better than the Peterbilts. Now we're gonna get into the Freightliner. So there's been 81 Freightliners sold, uh, by far the most popular unit out there. Um, so again, 2020 models, let's see how this retained value. Um, 668,000 miles sold for 27,500. Another one with 447,000 miles sold for 45,000. Another one sold for 45,000. Here's one with 767,000 miles sold for $25,000. Uh, if we keep scrolling down, you can see here the sold price. I'm not gonna talk about every single one of them, but here you go for 31,000. Another one sold for 25,000. Uh, these are day cabs. We're not gonna get too much right now into the day cabs. Let's see if we can find some more sleepers. The day cabs have also significantly, significantly dropped in value. Here's another sleeper, 2020 with 264,000 miles. So these are like brand new units, okay? There was three red ones that were sold, all of them with very, very low mileage. Uh, they're probably in really, really good shape and that's why they got 77,500 for them, okay? So these ones sold very well, these red ones. All right, so here's another one with 700,000 miles sold for 29,000. 
These blue ones look identical to the ones that we have. 220, these 2020 uh, Freightliner Cascadias, uh, they sold, this one sold for, it doesn't say the mileage, which is probably why it got so low, $22,000 it sold for. Here's another one that sold for $22,500. This one only had 531,000 miles. And then we have some more day cabs. So you can see that, I mean, here's another one with 276,000 miles, a white one that sold for $75,000. So you can see the ones with the very, very low mileage, those are getting top dollar. $75,000 would be top dollar for these units. Um, here's two purple ones with 282,000 miles, also very, very low mileage. And they sold for $65,000 and $67,500. Here's a few more, 52,500, another one for 62,500. Um, this one also has very low mileage and this one also has very low mileage. So to sum it up, um, you know, if we, again, if we were here six months ago and eight months ago, probably at least, um, you know, I would say that they, they've dropped at least by 50, 60% these Freightliners, uh, with the prices of where they were. I mean, a year and a half ago, I mean, um, you know, this 2020 would probably be going for about eighty, ninety thousand dollars Now you can also track this in my recent videos that I've done. So I've done this already over the last, uh, probably over the last year, I've done these videos. So you can actually look back in any one of these videos and see where the prices for these Freightliners were uh, six months ago and eight months ago. And here are the thumbnails for them. So just track them down uh, and watch those videos if you wanna see what the value was for these trucks you know, six months ago and eight months ago. All right, and the last one we're gonna talk about is the Volvo 2020 Volvos. You can see here with 290,000 miles, uh, sold for 70, 72,500. Another one sold for $55,000. These two gray ones, uh, 460,000 miles. And then you have one here with 626,000 miles, sold for $31,000. Um, let's see, 682,000 miles sold for $26,000. Uh, another one with 650,000 miles sold for $26,000. And then you have these two white ones, three white ones, $50,000 seems like a steal. 42,500, this one actually is a steal. A 2020 with 410,000 miles sold for $42,500. And you have another one that sold for $39,000. You have one here that sold for $75,000. And then you have two more here, one of them with 318,000 miles sold for 72,500 and another one sold for $40,000, okay? Now, you guys have to take into consideration these are the auction results, okay? I went over all four of the units, 2020 models. The reason I chose 2020 models is because when you know what the market value is for a four-year-old truck, which is usually when a lot of the big mega carriers, they replace their trucks at the three and a half year mark, four year mark, or four and a half year mark. So they flood the industry with used prices. Now, there's a lot of inventory, a ton of inventory at the dealerships, in these auctions. Um, there's a lot of inventory that's standing right now. You can really, really pick yourself up. An amazing, amazing, amazing deal. What do I think is gonna happen over the next three months? I actually think it's gonna get a little bit worse. There is some good news. I mean, interest rates are going to come down a little bit uh, over Q1 and Q2 of next year. You guys all know right now, the interest rates are very, very high on pretty much anything, whether it's mortgages, financing, equipment financing, uh, especially on used trucks and new trucks. You know, the interest rates are a, little, a, a lot higher than they were two years ago and two and a half years ago. So hopefully with bringing down the interest rates, uh, it'll stimulate the economy a little bit more, but I still think we have at least one more queue of bad news ahead of us where the prices will continue to drop and you will be able to pick up um, you know, a steal for yourself if you were to play your cards right and to purchase these units right. So again, these are just auction results. I'm sure that the dealerships have these truck, the exact same trucks, but the markup is a lot inside these dealerships. You know, you don't know the condition of what you're getting when you're buying it from a um, an auction, but it really gives us a, a good indication of what's happening because a lot of the dealerships, they buy their units from these auctions. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Make sure you're tracking the market with me. Uh, I am going to do another video like this about the trailers, so vans, reefers, and flatbeds to see where our trailer market is doing. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan, and I'll catch you in my next video.